we did a pc press conference uh, media interaction with all of you in the month of may to be precise on 25th of may this year and a price you of a very very important issue and irregularities happening in the state of telangana about the smart cards which are issued for driving licenses and registration certificates first we made complaints to the transport department people and then we approached portal that if you do not take action we will go to judiciary but based on our complaints then subsequent the media coverage and the pressure from media people finally they scumped and uh, few national dailies they started following up with them and in fact i will thank all media people present here and the people who were present there and who are not here right now for taking up this issue and making telangana government start or initiate some action gentlemen and ladies telangana government after that press conference took action last press conference i started with some suspicion with doubt in my mind that this was i was uh, approached by a whistle blower and cautioned by a whistle blower that some hanky panky is happening so on the basis of that whistle blower we blew the lid out of this warm can in the supply of smart cards of dl and rc this company color plast was making fool of everybody on the basis of media reports i specifically want to thank mr ajay from new indian express who raised up this issue and followed up with many stories followed up with follow up stories on your uh, intervention and continuous pressure government of uh, telangana sent about 20 cards maybe this is part of the press release this 20 cards were sent by government of india to department of national informatic center in delhi for testing and what they found i do not know whether uh, ajay 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 is here from indian express i, I don't know whether you are aware of it aware of it or not out of those 20 cards sent by telangana government eight were found as per this kotsa guidelines 12 cards were found fake this is the report of government of india ministry of national informatics centers proving but media including mr ajay from new indian express wrote in their stories that there is some hanky panky going on so it is proved beyond any doubt that there is hanky panky going on in the supply of smart cards supplied by this company called color plast so this was my duty to come to you and tell you that this is because of you i could expose them i could expose uh, the wrong doings and corrupt practices happening and i do not know whether any official from telangana the transport department was involved or not but this is sure that the card supplies were not of the tender which was given to them and it is proved by none other than the government agency which is which is responsible for testing those cards 
So this is proved beyond doubt that this company called Colorplast is involved in corrupt practices. And I tell you, <coughs> after I raised this issue, I got many threatening calls, threatening messages, and threats for defamation, blah, 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 blah. And the people who were trying to do this, I told them, yeah, just go through my profile and see my profile, that I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I want to expose, I want to bring truth with the help of media and we are able to bring truth. But in spite of the fact, this report was received by Telangana government on 10th of June 2024. 10th June, 10th July, 10th August and 10th September. Three months have passed. But still, there is no action on this company called Color Plast, who is fooling, who, is, who has cheated the government of Telangana, which is proved by the testing agency of government of India. It is not proved by Rahat. It is not proved by any publication. It is proved by government of India's testing agency. Now we demand from the government, why don't you blacklist them? One very interesting fact has also emerged. In the meantime, government of Telangana has floated another tender for uh, DL and smart, RC smart cards. And in that tender, we have been given to understand this company has again applied. We do not know the outcome whether they are going to blacklist them or not. But uh, why not to recover the complete cost of the project from this company? Only 20 cards have been tested and out of 20 cards, 12 cards have been found, 12 cards have been found not complying with the conditions as per SCOTSA. My, my doubt was they are supplying the Chinese ships and that can compromise the data security of the nation as well as, 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 well as the state of Telangana. So why they have not taken any criminal action so far, criminal case so far against Colorplast? Why they have not recovered the complete cost of the project? 12 out of 8 meaning 60% of the cards are fake. So these cards are, are not sent from a specific uh, series. They are, they are sent random cards to the government. So randomly if we extrapolate it to it becomes 60% of the cards supplied to Telangana are fake, were fake and some of you who has got the license or registration certificate in that period may have been given a fake RC card with the Chinese ships and your data security may be at risk. Why not to impose of heavy and deterring penalties to ensure that these kind of contractors they don't befool the transport department in future by supplying cheap and substandard non-conforming products. Why not to debar blacklist? I don't mind saying it. Color Plus India Limited for participating in any future tenders. Not only state of Telangana. Why not in this country? Once you have found somebody as cheating, why don't you blacklist them? Why don't you send a warning letter to all the states in the country that this uh, this company has cheated us? So. Why not? And whether any response has been got from the company, they, they issued them a, a, a you know, show cause notice. But I don't know why, why show cause notice you require. It is not that Rahat has sent the cards to NIC. Department has sent the cards to NIC. Department has got this inter-department uh, communication. Department has got the, uh, the, the proof of their cheating. So there is nothing is required, no show cause notice is required. They should have immediately uh, asked the government to lodge a criminal case against this company. So, gentlemen, ladies, thank you very much. Uh, we want that these kind of companies should not work in this system.
uh, I have, I can give you the copy of the communication which uh, Telangana government had with the uh, government of India, NIC, the NIC letter which is proven that these cards are fake. Then the third, the, uh, the show cause notice which uh, the transport commissioner has issued to Color Plus on 24th June where no action so far has been taken. So this means there is something wrong at the bottom. Either I don't want to say, I never wanted to say that whether I always want, uh, I always felt that there is some financial bungling happening at the company's end. But it appears if the transport department has not taken action from last three months, some of uh, transport officials may be in convenience with these, uh, with this color company called Color Plast. There might have been some kickbacks. There might have been some underhand transactions going on. Otherwise, once you have caught a person, you should have immediately taken action. So we want that this company should be blacklisted. This company should be debarred from any other t any uh, future tender, and uh, a criminal case should be lodged because this is not that company's money. This is my money, your money, and uh, uh, the money of Telangana people, and our security is at risk. Why not to? Uh, book them, a criminal case, a crime branch should book them and crime branch should question them that how many cards, how many fake cards they have supplied. This, <coughs> this is tip of the iceberg. Out of 20, 12 have been found fake. I, I, I believe that 50 lakh cards were to be supplied. If we look at that proportion, then 50 lakh, 30 lakh cards have, is, uh, approximately should have been fake if you extrapolate. So 30 lakh cards have gone to the for driving licenses for registration certificates in the system. So their data is compromised. National security or the state security is at risk. Why should we not take a criminal action? Criminal action? Why should we not de uh, debar them? Why should we, if no transport official is involved in this scam, why not to take exemplary action against this company called Color Blast? Why should we leave them alone? So that if we take the action, then any other company uh, which comes uh, into the system will not like to cheat, will not like to fraud, would not like to duplicate uh, the system. Now here, the system is compromised, system is cheated, and the company has uh, frauded the state government they frauded the people of uh, Telangana, frauded uh, the national security, because once the Chinese chips are in the system, so your uh, data and my data is at risk. Thank you very much. Questions?